Hello guys, how's everyone doing today? In this tutorial, we're gonna learn some more about attributes in Roblox. We're gonna be using scripts to create and update and delete attributes. All right, so um, here we still have the two balls from last time. I have renamed them. So one ball, the green ball is called undo VIP ball and the red ball is called VIP ball. So basically if I touch the uh, red ball, it's gonna make me a VIP. And if I touch the green ball, it's gonna remove the VIP tag from, it's gonna remove the VIP status from my player. Now let's first take a look at the attribute of the two balls. So first is my undo VIP ball, which is the green ball. And it has an attribute called undo VIP and the value is true. If you go to the VIP ball, it has an attribute called VIP and the value of that is true. All right, so the red ball again is the VIP attribute and the the green ball is the undo VIP attribute. First thing you want to do is you want to install the new text chat service for this tutorial. Um, so down here, you see, I have the new text chat service. If you don't know how to install the new text chat service, you can refer to our prior tutorial on brand new text chat service on how to install and how to use the brand new text chat service in Roblox. And now let's go down to our starter player service. Inside starter player scripts, I have inserted a local script courtesy of Roblox. Basically what the script is gonna do is it's gonna check for the VIP attribute of the player. It's gonna check the player. If the player has the is VIP attribute that is true, then it's gonna add a tag to the front of the, uh, the the text message that the the if you send a chat message you gotta see this VIP tag in front of your your message. All right, so this script from Roblox is doing that first. There's nothing we need to do there. The only thing we need to do is when we touch the red ball, we need to tag the the player with this um, is VIP attribute and set it to true and. When we touch the green ball, we have to either set that tag to false or remove the attribute altogether. So now let's go to our balls. So I have, again, I have the two balls here. I've grouped them into this group, same as we did in our prior tutorial. And we have a script here for, to handle the touch events for these two balls because we don't want to have a separate script for each of the ball. So that's why we're doing this. Okay, so let's take a look at the script. In our script, these two lines here, you are very familiar with. We're, we're just getting all the children of this uh, model. And then we have this four in I pairs loop to loop through all those parts in, in the model. And if it is a part, we're adding the touch event to it. And then we're, we're checking for humanoid. We turn off the can touch. And this part right here, we're checking the attribute of the ball, of the ball that we're touching to see if the ball has a VIP attribute. So if we're touching this VIP ball, the red ball, it would have the VIP attribute. But if we're touching the, the other ball, the undo VIP ball, that one would have the undo VIP attribute. So if we're touching the red ball, it's gonna call this function tag player with two parameters. The first parameter is the player. So basically we have the character here, right? And we're using this function to get the player from the character. And the second parameter of the f that we're passing into the function, uh, we're passing in true. On the other hand, if we're touching the, uh, the green ball, right? The un the green ball has the uh, undo VIP attribute, right? We're calling the same function. And again, we're passing in the player. This is the player, but we're passing in false for the second parameter. So now let's take a look at our function. We're passing in the player and this tag is gonna be true for the VIP and false for the undo VIP, right? So if it is true, 
we're gonna do this. So this function here, set attribute, is gonna create, it's gonna either create or update an attribute of the player. If my player doesn't have the attribute yet, it's gonna add a new attribute called is VIP to the player and the value is gonna set to true. But if the player already has an attribute called is VIP, then it's gonna just update the value to true. So again, you're using set attribute function to either create a new attribute for this object, in this case it's the player, or you can update an existing attribute of this object, in this case again, it's the player. On the other hand, if our parameter is false, means we wanna undo the VIP, then, then I'm just updating this is VIP attribute to false. So again, here you either gonna update if one already exists for this player, or if it doesn't exist, you're gonna create a new attribute called is VIP, but it's gonna be set to false. All right, let's now play and take a look. Let me go to my player and we, we wanna check the attribute of the player. So right now my player has no attribute. I'm gonna go and grab the red ball. And immediately you see an attribute is VIP was added to my player and it, uh, the value is true because you see the, the check mark in the box here, right? So now if I go and say hello in the chat, there it is. You see I have a tag, VIP tag in front of my name. And now if I go and grab the green ball. Oh, let, let me just say one more thing here. Hi. And I still have the VIP tag, right? Until, until I lose this attribute, Th then I no longer have the VIP tag. So I'm gonna go and touch the green ball now. The green ball is gonna remove the VIP tag. So remember, we're, we're not removing the, the, the attribute, but we're setting it to false. So it just, it re just removes the check mark here, the check box, right? And now, anyway, now it's false. So if I go and I say something here, if I say hello, you can see I no longer have the VIP tag. I'm not. I'm no longer a VIP. Now, on the other hand, if you want to remove the attribute altogether, because right, right here, we're just unchecking the box. We're just setting it to false, right? If you want to remove the attribute altogether, then you have to set it to nil, right? So this is going to remove it. Let's play and take a look. So again, let me open up my player and we're going to check the attribute here. There is no attribute. So if I put in something in the chat right now, hello, hello. There is no VIP tag, but now I'm going to go and grab the red ball. Now I have the, the is VIP tag, right? So now if I go and say hello, and there it is, I got the VIP tag. If I go and grab the green ball now, it should remove this attribute altogether. Let's take a look. You see that? It's gone. It, it didn't just uncheck the box. It removed the attribute. And that's because we set the uh, that's because we set the attribute to nil as opposed to uh, setting it to false. All right. So just a quick recap: you use set attribute to create a new attribute or to update an existing attribute. But to delete an attribute, you use set attribute and set the value to nil. Now, just as a side note, like if you want to set this to false, right? As we've done before, you could have done it this way. So I'm just gonna, actually, I'm just gonna comment out this whole thing, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this statement, this one single statement here. Let me copy it. I'll put it down here. 
right? And instead of uh, using hard coding true or false in here, I'm just going to put tag in here. So if we're passing in tag as true, it's going to set this is VIP tag to true. And if tag is false, it's going to set this set VIP set is VIP tag to false. All right. So this one statement is going to do exactly the same as this if else statement. Anyway, so that's how you create, update, and delete attributes using scripts in Roblox. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care.